This is SEL0320 representing JVS. Got to my left, Joe Johnson. Spoiler review time. Spoiler review. This is the episode 14, Code of Silence for Arrow. 14? 14. Code of Silence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, spoilers. So we're gonna go to I guess some of our top spoilers in this episode. I think the biggest one that was the nugget that me and Joe were talking about is the fact that Malcolm Merlin gave up William, which is Oliver's son, and that plays into I guess his manipulated plan of all of this because Oliver has no idea the bomb that like Damon Doc truly has of having a son. Not just that he went through some interesting dialogue with um, his. His sister, which I'm glad he's able to tell somebody, because I think that it was probably eating him up inside. For him to talk to Thea about it and for her to kind of unravel everything, she was like, you're justifying what you're doing, Oliver. I understand why you're saying that. You can tell me anything, but I understand what you're doing and why, uh, even though it's a hard situation. But basically, Damien has kidnapped his son. And it's like, the ramifications of that, like, Joe, he'll probably expound on it, but those are grounds for extermination. Like, that... That's wrong. Like, I mean, he saved his family. Like, how dare he do something like that? I don't know. Did you want to expound on Damien I mean, taking his son? I mean, you definitely said it to the words right out of my mouth, man, is, you know, I mean, like, you know, Oliver saved his family, literally, from death and destruction. Um, yet, this guy, Damien Darts, want to go after his son, whom no one on the planet knows about um, at this point. Well, now, they knows about it. But, I'm just like, I mean, like, clearly there has to be, like, some sort of boundary here. But not with this guy, Damien Dark. Nah, he's just like, you know, disregards everything Oliver, you know, saving his family. And it's just like, uh, you know, forget that. We're just going to say that didn't happen. Mm -hmm. Let me kidnap her son. Like, he's, I mean, like I said, if you haven't seen Oliver fight before, um, attack one of his family members, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, see how this guy reacts, and, uh, you know, uh, Razak Gul attacked his sister, uh, and I was upset about that, mm -hmm. uh, kidnapping man's son, like, why would you, no, you don't do that, you just don't do stuff like that, you don't come yeah. up to his family, or, yeah, you don't come up to people's family like that, man, but, um, yeah, but anyway, um, what's another uh, spoiler moment you want to talk about? Uh, well, the, uh, the nugget that I was kind of um, referring to in the spoil in the non spoiler review was the uh, fact that uh, Felicity might have the possibility of walking it. Yeah, that's a really big one. I was like, wow, I was like, wow, she might actually walk because uh, what's the name actually developed like some sort of a uh, little device that would be implanted in her spine? Yeah. Uh, so I was just like, wow, that's pretty crazy. I yeah. Mean, that guy's pretty much a genius for developing that and all of that. But uh, I was like, I was like, whoa. Yeah, you would say he's Mr. Terrific. <laughs> Mr. Terrific. No, co no comment. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, I think that Curtis developing, I guess, the microchip is going to be implanted Curtis, in her. Yeah, that's it. it it'll be yeah. interesting to see where that's going to go if it works. Um, but. I really like the fact that they brought that into it. it. Added a lot of hope to the episode that it desperately kind of needed, given the fact of what Oliver doesn't know was coming his way with his son. Um, but some of the things I didn't like was when Laurel and um, Detective, or I keep on calling Detective, but it's Chief Lance, were in the building. Like Chief Lance decides to go up in there by himself without any backup, you know, without his crew, into a condemned building, and it starts, you know. Basically, it starts falling in under him. Laurel's in there, thankfully, with them to try to help. But I was like, dude, I'd be running like a madman. They were sitting there going and stopping to look. Then they would go to the next room. Like, and I'm like, what are y'all doing? <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, I guess it, it had to be set up a certain kind of way. But it felt like, you know, like those theme parks where, like, there's certain sequences where you can't really move. And then you wait, and then you go to the next sequence. And then, again, it, it felt staged to me in a lot of different ways. And that, it might have been because of the practical effects they had to do versus like using CG. Um, but I don't know, it really kept, came off really campy. But then Thea's scene though, when the building started destructing around her, she had to get that laptop out. Yeah. I thought that, that set piece was awesome. Like that was a perfect blend of CG, but then it was like, the way that they shot it, it seemed like it was a lot better to me. I don't know. I don't it, know. Was, it was, And I mean, she was like oh, jumping over boulders. And stuff. I mean, she was actually running. Yeah, yeah. Like she was, she was getting it. She's 
high telling it. Yeah, yeah. Rightfully so. I mean, the building's falling off. <laughs> I mean, what you gonna, like, I don't know. That just seemed really strange. And maybe it's just me, but Laurel, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, how do I say this openly? She's not proved herself to me yet. Um, and being the definitive black canary. Like, it, it comes off, I mean, she, she comes off really as kind of a girly girl, I guess, versus a warrior. Like, she's really devoted. She's really passionate. She has some great sequences. She gives Oliver great advice, but it's like, it's her being a superhero. I'm not convinced yet. There's not been that moment that I'm like, this is a defining moment for Laurel Lance as being, you know, I think maybe because I see her sister that so much, but it's just like, I was looking at her trying to get out of the building. I was like, dude, like, you could have died. Like, <laughs> I mean, even how they kind of dove out of it, I was like, uh, anyway. But yeah, I mean, there was one other chick that was a weird villain to me. She was using a nail gun, and this other cat was using a hammer, and I <laughs> like, I don't know. I mean, it was really strange for me. Uh, they really seemed like kind of simple villains, but I mean, they were putting that work. I mean, I didn't mind the guy with the hammer. I just, I didn't expect them to be able to fight as good as they did. Yeah, they were, you know, they were giving them a little bit of extra work. I mean, you mean... Did Oliver die. just beat, like, yeah. He Malcolm? Just, yeah, and on, and on top of that, Chad has got a track record, bro. Like, like, think about who people he's beat in the past. And, like, I'm just like, who are these guys? <laughs> yeah. That this guy's gonna fight Oliver Queen one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. I was like, he's a nobody. <laughs> you know, I was just like, I don't know. They probably played him up, but anyway. Um, him and, um, what else? Oh, I forgot what I was going to say, man. <laughs> well, um, all in all, I thought it was a decent episode. I think it could have been a lot better. Uh, it's really interesting speculation of what's going to happen with William, uh, with Damien Dark, and it's really up in the air about Felicity walking again. I think she is going to walk again. I think they're going to find... There's no way mm. I could see my girl in a wheelchair for another two years. I'd be too sad. Even though she's pulling off really well. She's really lovable, but, like, she got to walk again, man. Mm, like, I vote for Felicity to walk. walk again. You know, that's just like... That's deep. Like, Iris, like, having a situation she couldn't see or something like that. Like, you know, you would feel something for that, you know? That's a miracle, man. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I ain't gonna stop crying though. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed our spoiler filled review for this episode. Keep it locked. JVS, we ain't gonna stop. Talk to y'all soon.